We got the Henderson. You got the Henderson? That was something that nobody else wanted in 1960-something. It was made by a guy by the name of Walter Thomas in Allentown, PA. What he did, he was a, worked at a textile factory as a machinist, and he customized it. He took two Henderson engines, the Deluxe, that'd be in the 20s to 27. And he cut the crankcase and welded them together, made a new intake manifold, new crankshaft, new camshaft, a new exhaust system. <clears throat> the factory service agency lengthened the frame. And he wrote it until the war, and then he got old. After the war, he sold it to a fellow in Canada. That guy in Canada, all he knew it was an old motorcycle. And he ran it until the crankshaft broke again. It broke once with the old guy, and he welded it, and then it broke again, and then it, that's where it laid. The guy advertised two Hendersons and two Indians for sale. $200. Yeah, and that was shortly after Mark was born. Yeah. And so Daddy took off and to get motorcycles, and I had three little boys to take care of. Grand Isle, New York. It was on an island, and after we was on there with the pickup truck and the trailer, a big sign, no commercial vehicles or trucks. Too late, we were there. We made it back <laughs> home all right. And that's it. I made a new crankshaft. I took a car crankshaft into the Weaving Pittsburgh steel Ford saw and had it reforged. It was an inch too short. We squashed it an inch on each journal to give me the inch in length. And then I machined it. Squash metal. Huh? I said you can squash metal to make it long. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, Fella, the fellow I went to a, a place that made crankshafts, he made them for race cars. But he said I couldn't afford it, so he told me where to go, and the guy went, this crankshaft rebuilder, and he had a pile of crankshafts as high as I am. This was the closest one he could get. It was from a Nash or something like that. Which was the one you changed the firing order, and you did the video of it? You put a cake. You changed the firing order. I think it was the cr the camshaft. Well, was it this what one happened? Was it the the crankshaft. This engine turns the opposite way of the car crankshaft. Mm -hmm. And the lobes were in a different configuration than the original one that the guy made. Mm -hmm. So what we had to do is make a new camshaft to go along with the crankshaft that I made. Mm -hmm. And as I said, this this engine turns instead of clockwise facing it, it turns counterclockwise. Hmm. And then I changed the firing order to match the lobes on the crank. That's amazing. And then you know the magneto, you just took the wires out and put them wherever, whenever they should be in the right place. It is amazing the stuff that he's done.